back YouTube, DB Squonks. Today we're doing a review on the TVL and Revenant Mods Delta Squonk Mod. It's a 18650, 21700, 2700 push to squonk single battery squonk mod. Um, this is a collaboration between TVL and Revenant, but the board is the Vaporesso Omni board. Um, you guys know how it works. Dive down, take a look what's, what comes inside the box, go through the board, bring it back up on top, vape on it, give you my pros and cons. Before you jump down, make sure you guys follow the advocacy links in the, the description, please. That just ensures that you guys continue to be able to vape flavors instead of vaping tobacco and menthol. So make sure you guys follow those links, please. With that said, let's go down to the table and take a look what comes inside the box. Up close with the TVL Delta Revenant. Quick spin. Back of the box. Freeze frame. Scratch and check. The color code is going to be on the bottom. Um, inside the box, this is not the kit, this is just the mod. So, inside the box, you will have a refill bottle right there. Um, I do not have that at the moment. But here is the mod. The squonk button is on the top. So this squonks by a button, not by a bottle. And then your fire button is going to be here. Up and down, select. And then you actually fill this from the bottom. So, if you take the refill bottle that's included, I guess would work the best. But I'm sure it'll pretty much work with any chubby gorilla bottle tip. You just insert the bottle into the bottom and just press and then squeeze and it'll fill it up. Let's go ahead and put a battery in here. Also this does take 21700s, 2700s or 18650s. It does include a battery adapter for 18650s if you do not have a 21700. This is a Samsung 30T. Go over the menu system. The board on this is the Omni board 4.0, I think, is what they're calling this. The board's actually made by Vaporesso. That's who does the board, but anyhow, the board's pretty simple. There's no adjustable voltage, it's just adjustable wattage. So you do have your clock. And see if the camera will pick up the screen. But just up and down. And then of course your fire button, select button, but if you do press the select button three times, it'll take you into the sub menu. And there you can set the time, time, brightness, puff counter, theme, screen timeout, um, auto on and off. And then I don't know what the hell this super player thing is. It doesn't really go into detail about that in the instruction manual. There's been a couple other reviews out there that nobody really could figure out what the hell that does, but. If you go down to theme, basically it just lets you change the color of your theme. That's pretty much it for the board. Um, again, Let's go ahead and throw RDA on top of here. Show you guys how this thing squonks. Of course, this is already juiced up pretty good, but you probably will not be able to see how it squonks with this RDA. But all you got to do is squeeze or press the button. Not squeeze it, but press it. And it'll saturate your cotton. That's pretty much it. We'll bring it back up on top, vape on it, give you guys the pros and cons of this thing. Back up top of TVL 
Revenant mods, Delta, pros and cons. Um, there's not really, I mean, it's just another mod to me. The push to squonk is kind of nice. The fill feature from filling from the bottom without having to take out the model. It's nice. I mean, you guys can remove the bottle if you need to. Uh, and just open up the battery door. Yep, there goes the battery, but and then the bottle you just grab it and pull out. But the bottle does come out if you need to clean it or anything of that nature. You guys do have the windows that'll show you your e-juice capacity, although it's kind of small and it's kind of hard to see, but um, pros, it's built nice, the board's nice, fires fast. I do wish it had variable voltage. Um, it doesn't have temp control or anything like that. Um, for the price, for the mod, is it worth it? Retail price, in my opinion, no. Um, to be honest, uh, I think the top side would probably be a better choice. Um, it is cool though, push to the push button without having to squeeze a bottle. Um, you do get kind of confused at first. The button on top is your squonk. The button on the side is your fire button. So it takes a minute to get used to. But there's not a whole lot of... I mean, it, to me, it's just another mod. Is it cool? Yeah. But it just wouldn't be something that um, I would replace my top side with. So there you go, there you go guys. That is the TVL Revenant Mods Delta. Make sure you guys fill out those advocacy links, please. And you guys know the usual. I don't care what you're vaping on as long as you're vaping not smoking. So until next time, guys, vape safe and keep it cloudy.